Welcome back to more Sneaky Bus with Ewan in the cockpit? Pilot seat? Uh, pilot pit. Cock seat? Yeah. Yeah. Bah! Oh, uh, you were going to talk about Simpsons. Simpsons, For some yes, reason. Yes, So I've been re-watching Simpsons and I've gotten to the point where I'm in the newer seasons. Ooh. And... How long has that taken you? It's just been here and there. You just put it on in the background. You watch some of oh, it. Oh, so you're not like getting invested and interested in it like well i've seen most of it all before so it's like a refresher yeah all right but uh i've noticed that there is a lot of stigma about the simpsons to where oh anything after season four is garbage it's like simpsons was never good (sighs) alternatively simpsons has never gotten bad it's just changed i am kind of of that mindset there are a few seasons where there was a lull. They changed the animation, and I think some of the writers all jumped ship. Well, they had to, to uh, cut costs, so they changed from hand drawn to partially that... CG and then full CG. Yeah. So if you look at Simpsons now, how it looks like beautiful, crisp, and clean, that's all CG. Yeah. For a while, it looked very just displeasing to the eye watching that, but they've gotten better at it. More efficient. Yeah, more efficient, (laughs) if anything. Kind of like South Park. I think after you reach a certain point, some of the episodes just get a lot better. They do more out there stuff because I guess all the models and everything are. Well, they can get away with it now. Yeah. Like everybody's already tuning in every week just to watch an episode or something. The the latest meme from last week. Yeah. You can now watch it again. Yeah. Yeah. Where they make the same joke three times in a row. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or on four different episodes. Yeah. You know, have you noticed that? I've noticed a recurring theme of, oh, Clockwork Orange. Ha ha ha. Clockwork Orange. Ha ha ha. Yep. Every year for the past how many years? Doesn't matter. All of them. <laughs> still relevant. <laughs> yeah. I still need to watch the movie. I've seen parts of it, but never fully invested if you want to like get a good idea of how much simpsons has changed watch the treehouse of horror episodes back to back oh that's so true yeah that'll be terrifying i've watched a lot of treehouse of horror my siblings used to only put on simpsons and their favorite was treehouse of horror so pretty good yeah it's the one time a year when they can do just about anything they want They've started to do just about anything they want in every episode. Which... I mean, they still have to keep it within the Simpsons universe. They've actually occasionally started doing the Family Guy cutaways, but tastefully so. Like, not every other joke is that. It's like maybe one an episode. It'll, like, cut to something. Oh, that's kind of lazy. It is, but some of the time it's really good. Okay. Others, it's just like, eh, okay. Have I you get the reference. Have you caught up to the, uh, the Futurama episode? Mm, I'm not sure. Oh, man. It has a really good uh, Futurama tagline. Uh, <laughs> from the show, brought to you by the show out of episodes for the uh, show out of ideas or something. <laughs> something like uh, that. But to the From the show out of episodes to the show out of ideas. Okay. And another show that uh, changed, Uh-oh. that had a dry period, is Spongebob. I have been watching it occasionally, like, you know, once a month or something. I'll just look it up and find, oh, here's a That's because episode. the creative director who invented Spongebob left after season three. Oh. That was the golden age. They've started getting super absurdist. I wouldn't know. Like, hasn't it been running for like 14 years now? Yeah, it's some ridiculous crazy long. Yeah, but uh, they've started to get super absurdist with their jokes and stuff. It's no longer strict animation like it was for that dry spell. It's no, you're not a bus anymore. Yeah, I'm Cluster Truck. Huh. You ever played that? Yep. It's good. It's a good game. Didn't you play it for the channel? I don't think so. I have it personally already. Hmm. Like on my own console. I could probably look it up, but I don't care enough. <laughs> or maybe 
maybe Brad did it a long time ago. Uh, it's a good game. It's easy to get into, but I don't know. Not the best. Eh, I don't mind it. It's, it's easy to glitch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of cheap things you can do. Have you seen speedruns of that game? Mm -hmm. It is super like, impressive. Oh, wow, you beat the level in 0.6 of a second. <laughs> Great. Well, there's weird stuff like you can just double back, like immediately turn around and jump off the map and like hit a checkpoint somewhere and just win. Mm -hmm. There's a couple maps like that. Or you can grapple onto something that shouldn't be grapplable. Yep. And, and it launches you across the entire map. Multiple <sighs> drop offs. Interesting. You seen any good speed runs lately? Always. Always? I'm subscribed to uh, AGDQ on YouTube. Yeah, you watch a lot more of that stuff than I do. I used to watch it to go to sleep because <laughs> most people in it are just monotonous and boring. Like us. Yeah, like us. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no. Yeah, we are. All right. Any good ones? Anything interesting? Anything you picked up? I don't speedrun. No? I, I like to enjoy games. You know, like casually play through something and then if I stop getting inter like invested in it I'll just drop it I've kind of done that with Outer Worlds it's a really good game and everything it's just then just do the main flipping story with Outer Worlds it's really fast yeah but I've it's been a playing three Witcher. hour game I've been playing Witcher and that's a lot of fun can you drive on that? okay yeah cool I thought it'd be water for some reason it's slippery right. I've been playing The Witcher it's a lot of fun but I've been playing Skyrim on the weekends. Oh, like yeah. Three hours every weekend. Yeah, I play The Witcher like an hour or two every weekend just for a little bit of story. Just to scratch that itch. Gotta get my Witcher. Yeah, since the show is not playing right now. Oh, man. Season one was good. It was. Can't believe how spot on it was. <laughs> if you've re read the books, it's spot on to the books. Because it's based on that, yeah. but it's taking a little bit of influence from the games, which... Yeah. A lot of shows should do. Like, take from whatever what, media there is. Well, that's what everyone's familiar with. Yeah, take whatever they're most familiar with, but go with the root source as much as you can. I don't know. And and try not to cut things out. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'll end up with angry fans. Or yeah. change the main characters, otherwise you'll end up with angry fans. Oh. <laughs> Ghostbusters. <clears throat> uh, they're already doing another reboot that's been planned for a while that's been planned like, oh, since the last movie came out <laughs> yeah the last movie didn't seem planned at all good lord it was a cash grab it really was uh, I couldn't even dignify that movie with a viewing just... if they didn't call it Ghostbusters or if they made it like Ghostbusters in LA or something or like an offshoot it would have been a better movie. I could see that. Or even if they did just did a, like a shot-for-shot shot remake, but just updated all the graphics, that would have been better. <laughs> hmm. Kind of like how uh, Disney's doing that with all their old movies. They should be trying a little harder, though. Disney's got the money. But you get things like Lion King, where they absolutely F it up, because they didn't do a shot-for-shot shot remake. As opposed to... Oh, uh, no. Uh, Beauty and the Beast which is shot for shot and it's great I've heard it's great I have the Blu-ray sitting on my TV but I haven't watched it yet as opposed to Lady and the Tramp where they change things and they screwed up as opposed to Aladdin where they do shot for shot and it's fine <laughs> with the addition of the one weird song don't worry about yeah. it yeah I get angry about stupid Disney stuff I didn't love the Aladdin <laughs> movie they could have done much better, but... It's Disney. They don't care. As long as they're making yeah. money. Yeah. Uh, would you like to pick it up the next video? Of course. Bye-bye.